All right, guys, we are back at the shop, and Sean has been making some killer progress on the minivan's cage. Let's go take a look real quick. He just got the main hoop pretty much done, and dude, it came out freaking amazing so far. I mean, I'm acting like it's done, but it's, I can kind of envision what it's gonna be now. His idea was awesome. Yeah. That is Look at awesome. that. That is awesome. You can still recline it. Yeah, too. so he made this bar bend off of the main hoop so we still have room for the stock seats. And then he did the same for the uh, D bars right here, too. They kind of kick out and then down so then the seats can still come back all the way and recline. Still There's got still the armrest, bro. Yeah, we still Good. got the armrest. There's still plenty of room in the back seat. So. This that is going to be good. freaking they awesome. Got a handle to hold on to when yeah, we got a seat. little. <laughs> yeah, that looks awesome. Then he added these tabs right here just for when we go to put race seats in it. So this will be the mount to the back of the race seat because we need that. But dude, it's looking so good so far. And then you guys saw in the last video that he already got the down bars done. Uh, and then he's just going to keep going from there. We actually had a delay on the windshield getting pulled. It was supposed to happen today, but it looks like it's going to happen tomorrow. But we will continue. Once that comes out, yeah, yeah man, you killed it. Bars, that looks freaking amazing. Thank the other bars go way back, huh? Those oh, have you not even seen how those go yet? Nope. Yeah, so they attach. Yeah, they attach to the top. Oh yeah. And they'll go, they'll go hey, up, up and cool. down. Like yeah, it's gonna be sweet. Oh. Yeah, that's awesome. Has this been there the whole time? Yeah, it has. John F. And Miller. Who's that, man? Get out of my seat. Get yeah, out of my seat. Is that your spot? About three inches, so like some You're camping and everything. You got room back there? Watch it, man. Yeah. Recline it. Oh! <laughs> it goes all the way down. Oh, yeah. Bro. That's it. Take a nap. You put a footrest up here? If you can fit in there, we should be good. Pretty big guy. You got enough room? There's plenty of room. I mean, if we hit the brakes too hard, you might take that to your knee, but. It's all good. We'll be all right. On this side. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we'll put padding there, padding over the top. If you hit your head on that, you, done? you got other problems. You your on, so. yeah. <laughs> watch out. <laughs> watch out. Watch oh, you got it. Dude, oh, that, that looks awesome. sick. It looks so good on the side. Hmm. Is that where it's going? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> awesome. Need to weld the no shit handle in here. <laughs> that yeah, would be arranged. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, the old one went away. So. Put, put the the stop one back. The on. brackets, like nut certs in there, and then just bolt the factory one back. Just like on. a strap. yeah. <laughs> that's I mean, cool. Have to be a <laughs> that looks so good though. It does. Like the hoop, just like how it comes back, looks really nice. It does. That looks sweet. He did such a good job on that. Whose van looks like this, bro? <laughs> this I don't know. Gonna be crazy. I don't know what other minivan has a 10 point roll cage going into right. it. This legit. I mean, it goes far back enough that I think even you know Cletus or James could drive it. That was what he said he was thinking. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking about here. There's a lot of room, bro. Need to un unbolt Especially it. like if you go up with it. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Is that it might go those back there? You're good. Yeah. Is that about where that one will be? Yeah, look yeah like, about like that. That'd yeah, you see that. Yeah. That'll look really good. You can lean back. I think you can lean back. Oh yeah. Yeah, right there. Oh, this is good. Look how far, bro, I can't even reach the pedals. Well, you gotta be grown Garrett up to be able to reach it. James can definitely try this out. When you grow up, you'll be able to touch the pedal. I'm all the way grown. <laughs> <laughs> I can't grow no more, bro, I'm old. They are supposed to bolt in, but Ooh. I just rest them in and they're like quick back. release. Move back a little bit. Really I mean, you could. You could, because we're not really, we're not using the back seats. We can put them wherever we want. Yeah, but if one day I do make that very back one work. Oh, this has a third row seat? That, yeah. We have a third row seat because I was because if I redo the fuel cell to where it fits flush under that because right now the fuel cell is just too high We put we put the third row seat back here. We just rested it up and if the fuel cell was like yeah if those bars come If out, we made a custom cell to fit in that Perfect. holder and then put the carpet back over it We could put the third row seat back in put a couple of turkeys back there you can do it. that over the gas tank with six in it. Yeah. We could have six turkeys in here There's plenty of room. We could have two turkeys here two here Make that all flat, two in the here. back. Just like one. A bench, a bench one. The we back have, two, have should have I flip them around back backwards so they're looking out the rear? <laughs> yeah, that's that's the yeah, something else I forgot to mention. Someone already had a hitch on this thing in the past, and we already got the freaking trailer lights ready to go. We're ready to plug in. 
<laughs> yeah. I've known about that for a long time, like ever since we got it. I was like, damn, they had a trailer on here because the wires were just dangling out. It is, well, how how tough was your parachute mount? I mean, if it's tough enough, just make a little receiver out of that. No, the parachute mount ain't cutting it. It ain't that good. No, no, we need to redo that because that's just right into the bumper support, and it's like super flimsy. I was really scared about it, literally ripping the parachute off when we did the half mile. It was sketch, but it it held. Did you find a kit for it already? Uh, or no? What? The a hitch? Yeah. No, we haven't tracked down a hitch yet. Oh. I've been searching and searching. All the U hauls are out of stock. Yeah, because I've so, seen other other race week cars that use the shoot shoot, mount. shoot mounts. That's why I said it. Yeah, I mean, if we if we made a new shoot mount, we could build off of that. Worst case scenario, I'll build a hitch for it or something. Oh, well, that's where we're at on the roll cage so far in the Radisi. Sean's killing it. That looks so freaking good. So here we got the transmission for the Routacy. This is the other sequential. We just got it pulled off of the engine that is over there. And I got the top cover pulled off. I also got the little shift selector that goes right here pulled off so we can kind of inspect everything inside. And I shined a light in there and I moved the uh, sliders up and down to look at all of the uh, dogs and everything is looking awesome. Everything literally looks brand new like the day we installed it. So that's all good to go inside of there. Something that was interesting though is that this top slider uh, along with this fork right here do have some heat marks on it just like how the MR2's transmission did when we pulled it apart it doesn't have as much like this side looks completely fine but then you can see the heat on this side I heard that it is very common for these to do that I'm not sure if there's any specific reason why this would be heating up so hopefully you know it's nothing major because we are going to be in fifth gear a lot on this trip everything other than that looks really good we retorqued these top nuts right here and then I went ahead and staked the nuts uh, we actually just pushed these little spacers back down so you can't see where we hit it in but the nuts are staked and locked in place so these will no longer be able to come loose and yeah everything's looking good so we just wanted to double check the transmission as well and make sure we got those staked and now we're able to put everything back together and then we'll get the transmission back onto the engine and then that will be all ready to go fresh head gasket train will be back on and inspected and that can go back into the route see once we get the cage done we get the van back onto our side over here and then just throw the pulley and belt on like I think I said in the last video. But yeah, just wanted to double check, make sure everything was good with the engine and everything was good with the transmission. And once we get the cat back on, this will be all good to go. So Emilio got the head pulled off of Hondru to take a look at the damage and uh, this is what we found, is. man. This is why you use Ferreira valves. They don't break, they bend. Look at that thing, bro. Yeah, dude, that's a freaking noodle, dude. Noodled your dang valve. Look at it, man. So yeah, luckily it didn't break, so right, you can see it here's where it hit, and it's not that bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the rod bearings on this one to make sure it's still good, because it did make contact with the valve, and uh, I think it's fine. So I'll go through that, check that out. And yeah, she should send. That's similar to what the MR2s looked like. Yeah. My MR2 block still, or the pistons on the MR2 still have a little nick from the valve. The head doesn't look too bad at all, man. Like it didn't mess up the seat, but it did, eh, nicked it a little bit there. Oh yeah. And then it did split the valve guide because it was sitting in there sideways, so it just like opened it up and split it. So yeah, it's hard to see, but the guide has a whole bunch of little cracks on it. Yeah, you'd have to shine a light in there to see that, but and then just that guide needs spring. fixed, and then just go through it. Definitely, it needs yeah. Yeah, it needs a new spring. I'm gonna just get a new spring, a new like just everything new for this little hole right here. Get the new exhaust valve and just replace everything and have the uh, valve guide machined put it back in there and send it the way it is yep. everything else looks good in the head so yeah everything else isn't too bad so we're just gonna have a local shop get that knocked out for us real quick yep and get her back up and going so she should be back in no time now oh yeah that's gonna look nice got the double bend on there i just to kick it into the halo yep just enough that's gonna look sweet so i think we left off with sean getting the main hoop uh done and all the bars connected to that and that turned out awesome and he actually did a lot of welding since then he actually got it pushed back up and in place and he made a halo and that is welded in place and the back bars are also welded into place uh, we also had the guys come and pull the windshield earlier today and that is out they did damage it on the way out it got all cracked so we're gonna have to get a new windshield for the Radisi. but windshield is out so now sean is able to work on the down bars from the halo and he has been doing a great job on that it's looking awesome so far you can see how he had that little kick on the top there to kind of help kick this part in so that is going to look sweet and then he got the holes drilled on the dash right here and then i was over here helping him earlier because we had to make clearance for this uh heater motor box we do want to try to keep that because i'd like to keep the heater 
uh, later on in case you know we ever drive this thing during the winter or something it's just kind of nice to have the heater still working since I have the corn stuff but we were able to make it clear and the bar just comes right past that and we also got all the spots cleaned off on the floor for the floor pads so that is all ready to go as well and while Sean has been working on that I also made a new battery box for the Radice because before we had the battery just kind of resting up in the engine bay right here and it was flopping around and I did not like that so went to Home Depot and got some stuff and I made this nice little battery box for our new battery then I'm switching from the Odyssey battery we did have the nice Odyssey battery in here but for some reason they just don't hold the best charge honestly and I'd rather have a stock battery that we can just get from like a parts store uh, in case you know for race week and stuff we have battery issues and we need a new one so I made this fit just a regular like civic battery and I'm really happy with how that came out so I got that knocked out as well while he's been busy working on the cage and we are getting pretty close so he's just finishing those up then we still have the door bars to do and then the stuff in the back to get figured out but the cage and the minivan is coming out freaking sweet and we've just been busy trying to get some stuff done well I think we're gonna wrap it up there for today made a whole bunch more progress and we're just gonna keep on going get this minivan done get it ready for race week Sean you've been killing it good job man I'm pumped on the roll cage it's looking so awesome so got a whole bunch more work to do and that's just where we're at so we'll see you guys tomorrow